गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अंकित इन जर्मनी और आज मैं आया हूँ टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ आइनटोफन में और यहाँ हम मिलने आए हैं एक स्पेशल गेस्ट से जो कि कर रही हैं यहाँ पे पोस्ट टॉक और शी इज़ माई वाइफ ऑल्सो सो लेट्स वेलकम डॉक्टर शिखा दिमान सो वेलकम शिखा टू माई चैनल अंकित इन जर्मनी आज का टॉपिक जो है वो है हाउ टू अप्लाई फॉर पोस्ट ऑफ इन नीदरलैंड सो कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू माई ऑडियंस हाई आई एम डॉक्टर शिखा दिमान So I did my bachelor's from Hindu College Delhi University in chemistry and then I moved to Bangalore to do my master's and PhD in supramolecular chemistry and from 2020 I am actually a postdoc here in Netherlands in Eindhoven University of Technology I'm here also working on supramolecular chemistry so yes that's about me So aapne uh, Netherlands hi kyun chuna matlab aur bhi options the mere ko laga Yes I had different offers from different universities and uh, countries but I decided Netherlands because for research fields it's very important ki which professor you are working with more mm -hmm. than about which university which country which department it is so between the offers that I had the lab which I am doing in Netherlands is actually one of the very famous labs and the professor is renowned so that's why i chose to work here in eindhoven university but uh, can you tell like when you are thinking of doing a post doc what are the important things you should keep in mind when you are selecting a university or an offer from a professor yes so basically when you start looking for post doc positions it's very important to understand what is your like long term goal for example are you planning to go into academics as a professor or you are going to plan for industrial uh, transition so based on that you need to find different university professors because for example if you want to go to industry you need to go for an applied science where you can have direct implications in industries but if you are looking for an academic position it's more of about what kind of quality research that you can produce based on papers their quality their numbers so based on that you need to decide which university which professor is actually good for you so it's not like there is a guideline okay you can do that mm. it's more of what is your research interest what is your future goal that you will decide so basically i want to move to academics so for me it was important that i go to a group which has a quality research and i can have good publications the size of group the uh, availability of different instrumentation is also very important can you tell about how do you find a post doc position okay so general criteria for finding you know phd and post doc positions abroad is to start finding for looking for vacancies mm. you can look into job portals in especially in europe i have seen that you can have indeed or you can also go to linkedin twitter where people post uh, positions so you find those positions you apply you look into their guidelines your requirements but also what you can do is that you go into conferences you try uh, which will be actually based on your research area and then you can start talking to people there so professors also advertise their vacancies there they are also open to discussion so you can have like one to one discussion and for example if you have one to one in interaction then it's more mm. uh, feasible for you to tell your you know professor that okay why you are interested you can have longer conversation but if you are just applying via these portals or you are just sending cold mails like okay i am interested in your work etc it generally doesn't feel that you know presence your one to one interaction mm -hmm. so yes indeed it's possible you look into job portals and you look into vacancies you apply to the professors directly and if they like they will have your interview then you kind of get selected mm -hmm. based on that or you can look into conferences and these kind of symposium workshops where you can personally meet professors and uh, tell them that you are interested and why you are interested in their work i i think like uh, meeting professor in the conference also creates a uh, like professor remember you and it create a uh, memory yes. in his back that yes i met this person and this person is relevant to my field and somewhere if they are interested uh, in your profile they will for sure be in contact with you and will try to see what are the possibilities of working together in the exactly. future also i got all the positions without even applying because i went to different conferences and talked to professors mm. presented my work so when they liked their work they were like okay even will you finish your phd and then we can uh, discuss about post doc so it was mostly because i could convey them why i am doing good research mm -hmm. and what i can contribute so i got offer there and this was how i also landed up in the netherlands 
तो अभी आई वॉन्ट टू नो कि दैट्स देर ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज इज टच सो डू यू रियली फेस प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग वर्क और इज इट मैनेजेबल ओके सो येस टच इज इट ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज तो जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स वगैरह होते हैं दे आर ऑलवेज इन डच बट बिकॉज यूनिवर्सिटी इज इंटरनेशनल तो वो ऑलवेज ट्रांसलेशन आपको साथ में भेजती है सो दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम और लाइक ग्रुप में इंटरनेशनल्स हैं सो दे ऑलवेज हैव इंग्लिश एज द लैंग्वेज सो इंग्लिश तो so presentations group meetings discussions papers everything is in english so mm-hmm. ye problem nahi hai but yes indeed agar bahut sare groups hain jisme sirf dutch log hain mm-hmm. then yes obviously they do this in dutch but nahi and i also actually was in some some time in uh, germany and i could see there ki pehle jab maine start kiya there mm-hmm. were all germans mm-hmm. and during that time wo log german mein prefer karte the to have meetings but then because there were more international people then they hmm. started doing everything in english because research fields papers everything has to be in english kyunki international hmm. cheeze hain to isliye language is not a barrier hmm. and uh, in netherlands actually 93% people actually know english oh, wow. so even supermarket mein etc hmm. you don't have to have any problem ki uh, you need to know dutch so okay. Uh, can you tell uh, about the visa process? Uh, how did you basically manage to get the visa, and what type of visa you need for this position? So basically, postdoc is an employment. Even here, our PhD is an employment. Hmm. So generally, university, all the documentation prepare, करती है. It applies. So जब जब university ने सब कुछ कर लिया, then they sent me a mail that hmm. you can send your passport to the embassy and give your biometrics and. नेक्स्ट डे आई गॉट माई वीज़ा सो बेसिकली मेरे लिए तो वन डे प्रोसेस था बट मुझे यूनिवर्सिटी को जैसे पासपोर्ट एंड अदर थिंग्स देना पड़ा तो यस इट्स वेरी सिंपल तो आपको ये जॉब सीकर जॉब वर्क वीज़ा है या इट्स अ वर्क वीज़ा मुझे एक चीज़ जाननी थी एज अ पोस्ट डॉक्स आपकी सैलरी ऑन एवरेज कितनी होती है इज देर एनी वेरिएबल और इज जस्ट सेम फॉर एवरी वन सो इट्स वेरिएबल सो जनरली सैलरी स्टार्ट होती है फ्राम थ्री थाउजेंड यूरो to yeah it can go up to 4000 or more so basically it depends on how much experience you have mm-hmm. so jo bilkul freshers hote hain unki salary 3000 33 300 hoti hai uh, and i think with experience wo badh jati hai but yahan pe do cheeze important hai firstly ye ki uh, germany mein if you are coming from abroad mm-hmm. uh, then they give you 30% tax benefit so basically it's called 30% ruling तो उसमें क्या होता है कि वट एवर योर सैलरी इज थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट इज़ नॉट टैक्सीबल एंड उसके बाद जो बाकी की सैलरी है दैट इज़ टैक्सीबल सो एज अ रिजल्ट यू नो यू गेट यू कैन सेव अ लॉट सो ऑलमोस्ट एट हंड्रेड टू नाइन हंड्रेड यूरोज आई थिंक बच जाता है इन ऑन एन एवरेज एंड दूसरा ये कि आई डेंट नो दिस बिफोर कमिंग हेयर बट द सैलरी इज काइंड ऑफ नेगोशिएबल सो आप कर सकते हो नेगोशिएट and uh, sometimes they also give you a yeah, family allowance of like 500 euros per month if you are married or have kids so yeah there are some other extra points that you can get mm-hmm. uh, when you are looking for salary yeah. uh and the final question would be uh, can you take give some tips uh, to the young students who want to apply for post doc positions yes i think it's very important firstly that during your phd when you're like in the final year you already start looking for post doc positions it has two benefits first benefit is that during your time you will already get a position so you mm. can transition very fast nahi to you know kuch time hota hai unemployed hote ho ya fir you have to ask your uh, professor to continue as an a uh, research associate position uh, second benefit ye hota hai ki you can get more offers you can get more like options to aap kar sakte ho and us time pe kya hota hai itna frustration nahi hota hai ki are i did not get a position because you still are working so you should start firstly already when you are doing phd second ye hai ki start look making networks so basically go to conferences make networks know people participate so that they know you एंड अगर तुम्हारी यूनिवर्सिटीज में भी बहुत सारे इंटरनेशनल्स आ रहे हैं सो यू शुड एक्चुअली गो एंड टॉक टू देम एंड ऑल्सो टेल देम दैट आई वुड लाइक टू हैव अ पोस्ट ऑफ पोजिशन एंड रियली वॉन्ट टू वर्क थर्ड टिप है कि यू शुड ऑल्सो स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग फॉर फेलोशिप सो एवरी कंट्री विल हैव देयर ओन पोस्ट डॉक फेलोशिप्स सो क्या होता है कि बहुत टाइम पीपल वॉन्ट टू गेट अ पोस्ट ऑफ पोजिशन एंड देन दे मेल टू प्रोफेसर दैट ओके आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद यू एंड दे से कि आई डोंट हैव फंडिंग 
सो दैट इज़ लाइक अ मेजर थिंग सो बेसिकली आप क्या कर सकते हो यू कैन आज दैम दैट ओके दैट आई वुड लाइक टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस पोस्ट ऑफ फंडिंग लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम अ मेरी क्यूरी फेलो सो आई टोल्ड माई प्रोफेसर आई वुड लाइक टू अप्लाई दैट सो आई गॉट मेरी क्यूरी फेलोशिप सो दैन द पर्सन कैन नॉट से नो इफ यू हैव योर ओन फंडिंग एंड वो आपको इंडिपेंडेंस भी देता है तो दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इन जर्मनी इट्स हम बोल्ड एंड एवरी कंट्री हैज इट्स ओन सो यू शुड अप्लाई फॉर दैट और गाइज थैंक यू शिका फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम एंड हेल्पिंग द पीपल हु आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू डू पोस्ट ऑफ अब्रॉड आई होप गाइज दिस वीडियो इज रियली हेल्पफुल टू यू ऑल एंड डू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स हु वॉन्ट टू pursue post doc abroad and uh, if you have some doubts do mention that in the comment section below and if you really like the video please like and subscribe to my channel see you later bye <laughs>